The Writers Guild of America WGA, strike began on Tuesday May 2 after talks failed between the union and Hollywood studios with discussions ongoing since March. Over 11,500 writers from film, television and various other entertainment are represented by the WGA union and have now down tools. This fresh strike comes with writers demanding a pay increase and changes to industry work practices, which currently means they work more for less money. The strike is partly down to the advent of streaming platforms, which have led to shorter seasons and small pay for writers. The last time the WGA went on strike was back in 2007 with industrial action lasting for 100 days and countless programs lost or scrapped. Other WGA strikes were held in 1960, 1973, 1981, 1985 and 1988. A statement from the WGA read, the company's behavior has created a gig economy inside a union workforce, and their immovable stance in this negotiation has betrayed a commitment to further devaluing the profession of writing from their refusal to guarantee any level of weekly employment in episodic television, to the creation of a day rate in comedy variety, to their stonewalling on free work for screenwriters and on AI for all writers, they have closed the door on their labor force and opened the door to writing as an entirely freelance profession. No such deal could ever be contemplated by this membership. Essentially, writers get money from the commercial breaks in between their shows but lose out when these programs are repeated on streaming platforms, something the union is hoping to rectify. Another issue is using AI to write film and TV, while the other big point of contention is the changes to writing jobs going from full-time with benefits to freelance with the number of people and their contract period getting smaller. Don't miss Dottim a celebrity stars picking up on Carol Verderman's fakeness, latest Janice Dickinson and Andy Wyman in Fiery Showdown, update Timmerdale's charity gets ultimate revenge on Chloe and Mac, Theory, the alliance of motion picture and television producers, apt, the trade body representing studios and production companies, was in talks with the WGA and said the negotiations fell short. The AMP released its own statement, the primary sticking points are mandatory staffing, and duration of employment, guild proposals that would require a company to staff a show with a certain number of writers for a specified period of time, whether needed or not. Member companies remain united in their desire to reach a deal that is mutually beneficial to writers and the health and longevity of the industry, and to avoid hardship to the thousands of employees who depend upon the industry for their livelihoods. Which shows will be affected by the WGA writers' strike? While it looks like many scripted shows have already filmed their finales, such as the Goldbergs, late night chat shows are going to face the brunt of the strike action. Among the late night shows expected to be affected and resorting to reruns include, Jimmy Kimmel Live. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon The Late Show with Stephen Goldberg Late Night with Seth Meyers HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher Last Week Tonight with John Oliver Comedy Central's The Daily Show Saturday Night Live Jeopardy! Wheel of Fortune primetime shows on the major networks including ABC, CBS, Fox and The CW have finished with production already wrapped. Succession and Season 2 of Yellow Jackets haven't been impacted by the strike. However, work has already stopped on Season 3 of Yellow Jackets due to industrial action and also on Comedy Abbott Elementary. Daytime soap operas have also been affected with writers walking out and networks relying on the episodes already written before they run out. According to TV Insider, most streaming shows are likely to be unaffected if they've already been greenlit, filmed and produced, 